Hi ladies, it's Chris Rios at home in my bathroom and I am going to color my hair with some home color that I saw online called Madison Reed that which I was going to try. As you know, I'm a hairstylist. I work in a salon so I can get professional color done to myself all the time or put it on myself, but like Many of my clients, I have roots because I have gray in my hair, which I hate. And I hate that it comes in so often. I can't stand when I see the littlest bit of hint of gray at my roots. It just, I hate it. So I could easily color my hair every two weeks. And I have a lot of clients who feel the same way. And I would not expect them to come into the salon to come get their hair colored every two weeks. I mean, who's got the time to come into a salon every two weeks? It's very expensive to do that. I actually give my clients color to take home and do just their hairline and their, and their part. Or I tell them what level formula or what color formula to get at the drugstore with a home kit, like a home, like by L'Oreal or Clairol. But I personally haven't even tried them. So I have to do that, but I'm starting off with this company, Madison Reed, which really looked interesting to me because the website seemed like it was very user-friendly and for women especially, and um, laid everything out for you from your gloves to your product, to your barrier cream, and they even have a step-by-step. -step. So I'm gonna show you my little exciting box that I got. I thought it was really cool and um, go through that right now. Pretty cool box that came in. I'm gonna open it up for you. Everything is laid out really nicely. It's your instructions and everything that should come in the box. Color under here, it has gloves. And look how nice and packaged that is. Cap, which I don't know what that's for, probably to keep from getting a mess in your house. Shampoo and conditioner for afterwards. Here's your conditioner. Your, looks like your peroxide that activates your color. Some barrier cream to put around your hairline so you don't have stain or show, let anybody know that you color your hair. And um, cleansing wipe. So it's very professional, this little kit. You open the box, it says, hello beautiful. We are here to take good care of you and your hair. Favorite sign off, XXOX. Packaging is 100% recyclable. So what's not to love about that? Anyhow, so I chose the color Sienna Brown, and it was a level six natural ash violet. So the little personalized instructions uh, tell you exactly what you need to do, and it also has a color crew that can troubleshoot if you need to call them in the middle of all this. But um, I'm gonna step you through this because you have your color crew right here. Um, so it's really cool. They have a little step-by-step -step guide. I love pictures. So um, first they say to clip their hair into four sections. They do not give you clips. So I have clips handy. I'm a hairdresser, but you should definitely have some clips because it, it definitely will be easier for any application with any at-home color kit or professional kit to section your hair because then it's going to be neater application and less mess in your house, less mess on you, and you just have more control on your application. So I have a comb and I'm going to split my hair down the middle. I also have my mirror over here, so I'm not looking at you guys because I'm looking at the mirror, but I'm doing it in four sections. My fourth section. Out of the way, okay. Now I'm going to take my barrier cream and you wanna prevent staining on your forehead and your ears and your neck, so you don't wanna get on your hair because uh, and the gray's not gonna take if you have the barrier cream on. So you could use your finger, you could use a Q-tip, right at my hairline. You don't wanna go into the hairline. I have a barrier cream at work for, at the salon that's formulated to actually be on the hair and it doesn't mess with the color taking to the gray, but I don't know how strong this cream is. So I'm, I'm just gonna go by their instructions. I'm acting as if I'm you guys. I'm applying it top of my ears. You don't want stained brown ears. Now I'm taking my gloves. 
has a little pull. This is really, really great packaging. I do have to say, Madison Reed, you're killing it right now. Opening it up, says open here. Got my actual very professional gloves. These are the kinds I use in the salon and they give you two pairs. Awesome. So I'm squeezing it in. Says to shake for 20 seconds and that it should blend into a cream like conditioner. Okay, so let down my hair. It's thick like conditioner cream. It says to start at my roots first, which duh, wish I would do. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply with the applicator, which seems pretty easy, and I'm gonna go like so. I mean, this is pretty much what you would do at home. It's work, duh. I'm gonna shake it a little bit more and reapply right there. Actually, you know what you should do first is squeeze out the first little bit before you start, because a lot of times it's not totally um, blended at the tip, even at, at a salon, so I should have showed you. I'm gonna have better coverage, and I'm squeezing this on. This is pretty precise, I like it. And I'm just taking my fingertip and pressing it in there, there, and then go like that. So I'm all colored roots all over. It says to set between 35 to 45 minutes. Depends how color resistant or how gray you are. I like to go longer because my gray in the front is really resistant. So I like to go the longer the better. So I'm gonna set it for 45 minutes and I'll see you in a little bit when I'm washing it off. Ta-da! So here's my finished product. I, uh, I got good coverage, I feel. Um, it feels really good. It actually was really conditioning. The shampoo and conditioner and the hair color felt really soft and conditioning as well. And it rinsed out really easy. I liked how ash it was, and um, it is. And um, I think I got pretty good coverage. I mean, even if you're just doing your front sections and your and your part and your hairline, just to get you through until you can get into your hairstylist, because whether you're a professional or not, it's hard to do the back of your head unless you have two-way mirror or um, someone who can just apply it for you back there. But I mean, I got you know I got good coverage, but I think I would definitely recommend it for your whole head or just little root touch up in the front if you have a special event or you just hate seeing any gray like I do. At home with Chris Rios beauty tip. Um, I will try other at home colors, uh, box colors if you like. If there's particular ones you want me to try, uh, email me and let me know. And give me a thumbs up or give me a comment in the comment section and uh, tell me if there's anything else you'd like to see. Thank you for tuning in, and this is At Home with Chris Rios Beauty. Bye.